and welcome to Physicists Under the Microscope, a short series of interviews with physicists investigating fluids and active matter. We're here to shine a light on the life of a renowned scientist whose work has shaped our view of the world today. I'm Finn Box, a researcher at ESPCI in Paris, and I'm here with Rosalba Garcia, a researcher at the University of Cambridge. And under the microscope today is Professor Julia Yeomans of, from the University of Oxford. Professor Julia Yeomans is Professor of Physics at the University of Oxford and Fellow of the Royal Society. Her research interests focus on soft matter and biological physics, a field where Julia is a world-leading expert. In her research, she applies her knowledge on statistical mechanics and hydrodynamics to discover new properties of soft matter and active systems. Julia studied physics at the University of Oxford, where she did her BA and DPhil. She moved to Cornell University to pursue her research career and later to the University of Southampton until her return to Oxford as an established scientist. Julia is well known to undergraduate and graduate physics students around the world for her book on Statistical Mechanics of Phase Transitions. Often, her research is inspired by nature, from cells and bacteria, the flocks of birds and the water shedding raincoats worn by plants. So Julia, what Hello. got you interested in statistical physics and soft matter physics? Well, I think physics to start with was because I've always liked solving problems. I was always fascinated by graphs in newspapers when I was tiny. And, and so I was always going to be some sort of mathematician, but the airy fairy bits of maths I didn't find so interesting. I think what I find wonderful is the way you can actually use mathematics to describe the real world. Uh, that seems still seems amazing. You can write down a little equation and it can describe everything from how swimmers swim all the way up to, to turbulence. Um, statistical physics was probably by chance. Um, I wondered about doing particle physics or maybe general relativity. And I went to see a very big professor at Oxford and he said, well, you'll have to get one of the top five firsts. Um, and so I thought, well, gosh, I'll never do that. And uh, so I ended up, rather than doing particle physics or astrophysics, I, I ended up doing statistical physics. And I've always been very pleased because although other branches of physics are fascinating, when you're actually doing it, it's really nice to do problems which have a very immediate impact. And I've moved around from very uh, fundamental statistical physics, looking at phase transitions through fluid mechanics. I had to learn some fluid mechanics and then all the way through. Now I'm trying to learn some biophysics. So you talked about the impact of your research. So can you give us an everyday application of your work? Uh, well, what we're trying to understand at the moment, and it's still a long way away from, from applications. I mean, I, I really am understanding the theory. We're trying to understand how cells move. Um, what, one of the most beautiful things that happens is uh, morphogenesis. When you start from a small ball of cells, suddenly that has to, well, not suddenly, it has to gradually grow into a human being. And the cells have to signal and work out how they're going to move, how they're going to divide, how they're going to change into different types. So you, can, so you can move from this, this tiny embryo to, to, a, to a, a person. And therefore the cells have to move and we're trying to work out how this works, whether physical ideas are useful for, for, for understanding uh, cell reorganization. That sounds absolutely fascinating. And you've really given us an insight into what you're working on at the moment. But what future research opportunities or challenges lie ahead of us in the field? Um, I think complex systems, uh, the recent Nobel Prize showed us that is, is a very important thing, actually trying to understand systems where, you, where um, it, th there's so many things going on, it's hard to find the important things and it's hard to actually have predictive theories. Um, I, as I said, like biophysics at the moment, and here it's knowing how much physics can say that's useful and whether physics can provide a, a physical framework for the biological processes or whether you really do need lots and lots of, of details, which physicists aren't so, so keen on. So, so those are two directions which I think are very exciting at the, at the moment. 
Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for joining us today and for taking the time to give us a little insight into your life as a scientist. Um, we look forward to, uh, to speaking with you again at some point. So thank you everybody for watching and hopefully you'll be able to join us again for another episode of Physicists Under the Microscope coming soon. Thank you. Thank you.